Hi, welcome to my portrait channel. My name is Kalia and today I will do a little video to show you how I roll my clay so that I end up with an even slab uh, for my hand building projects. So what would you need? Uh, I've got some clay here uh, and here I've got a plasterboard. Now the reason I'm using this is so that um, I roll it on top of the board uh, so that it doesn't stick to the surface and I can then also just simply leave the board up and put it aside for the clay to set uh, until it's ready for use. We'll need a rolling pin. Uh, I've got here some wooden dowels. Now these I've purchased, uh, they're wood trimmings but I've purchased at a local uh, wood shop. You can get them in various thickness. This one is about 0.3 uh, centimeters in thickness but as I said they come in various thickness and the idea is uh, you can then just place them multiple pieces together so and you can take them away as needed so you can get the desired thickness uh, across your clay. Um, I've also got some ribs here so this will be used for uh, smoothing the surface of the clay and, uh, and uh, compressing the clay as well. So let's get started. Um, so we're going to take the, the wooden down and place it on each side of the, of the clay. Uh, and the idea is as we roll the clay uh, and thin it out, the clay will be as thick as the thickness of the dowel that we place down. And this will help with an even thickness. Now you can see that I'm um, lifting the clay off the board from time to time and this is so that the, to lift the clay off the surface and it doesn't stick and when you're rolling it helps with uh, spreading the clay uh, evenly and quicker. So once we have rolled the clay out, um, it's very important that you uh, compress the clay so that when you're using the, the clay for your pieces, your pieces doesn't scrub during drying. Now today I'm going to use the metal rib, but you can also use the uh, yellow rib works quite well. Now when you're rubbing the surface of the clay. It's very important that you're not um, compressing and holding the ribs straight out to the, the end. Right? So what you need to do is hold it a little bit flatter on the flatter end and spread out like you're spreading butter on a piece of bread. This also helps to remove any finger marks or any uh, an evenness that you have on the clay. As you can see, the thickness of the clay is fair, is even. It's very even throughout. So, and this is what you're trying to achieve. And the, having the dowels on each side of the clay helps achieving this a lot. So I hope this has helped and uh, thank you for watching and happy potting. See you next time.